another video, man. Make sure if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button one time for the one time. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, man, because I'm always keep you up with the latest and the greatest. Now, I made a video yesterday bringing awareness to Charleston White. YouTube channel being gone. One day you're here, baby. And then you're long gone. The next day you're gone. One day you're on YouTube, the next day you're gone. Now, Charleston White, we all know, is a wild boy, right? He was a wild boy. Um, you know, when he first came on the scene, he presents himself as a, you know, activist. Uh, caring about the youth, the community, and all that stuff, and he does have a lot of, you know, badges under his belt of community work, you know. But in the last couple of years, two or three years, it's like he just did a 360, you know what I mean? And um, you know, he said a lot of controversy things, a lot of controversy things. He's bringing up people's kids, bringing up people's children, parents, race. You name it. I mean, you name it, Charleston White has said it. And in my opinion, I think this is the video that got him banned from YouTube. Like I said, like, I don't wish nobody to get their channel taken away from him. But in all honesty, I'm surprised he stood on YouTube this long. I'm truly surprised he lasted this long because man, let me, <laughs> he be saying some wild stuff. And I'm sure he knows, he knew that this day was gonna come. He knew that this, this, this day was gonna come. So I'm sure he was well prepared and I'm sure he got a backup plan. You know, I'm sure he's still gonna do interviews with other platforms out there. Um, but in my opinion, I think this is the video that got him banned, permanently banned, terminated, removed, deleted from YouTube. In my opinion. Man, fuck Deion Sanders. Yeah, I damn do want to put $20,000 up on any college player that I hurt his son, that motherfucker quarterback motherfucker. Come on, man. You way out of bounds for that, bro. Man, I, I be, I be, I be, I be, you know what I mean? Like, I know the method to the madness with, with Charles. I'm like, I be trying to stick, you know what I mean? I be trying, man, I be like, come on, man. But you ain't got to do this, man. You 100% in the wrong for this, bro. That's a young black man, successful black man trying to make it, trying to provide, trying to li live his own legacy. That young man got a lot of life to live, and he's a great talent. Leave the kids out of it, bro. Leave the kids out of it, man. So, when you wish bad things like that upon people, you can't be surprised when things like this happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You're about 50 years old, or maybe early 50s. You supposed to be for the youth, but now you talking down on the youth. Now you want the that young man to be hurt. He ain't do nothing to you, bro. He ain't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? But I know you're in character and you're a shock jock. And I know you say things on purpose just for attention, just for clicks and views. But this wasn't it, man. Come on, man. Leave the kids alone, man. Leave the kids alone. Yeah, that slow motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Yeah, fuck college. Uh, yeah, Colorado football. Nigga, I'm with them niggas still in Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson State University. Y'all go, nigga. Fuck Dion. Yeah, Sambo Sanders is his new name, nigga. And he a football player. Dion ain't never done shit where we can uh, rally and, 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 and revolutionize around him. Man, nigga, a football player with a turf toe. Fuck Dion. And another thing. Jackson State University winning too, nigga. Y'all ain't rooting for them nigga coaches. And then, nigga, all them little league nigga coaches that's coaching them little league teams in your city. You ain't rooting and rallying and cheering behind them poor niggas. Yeah, nigga, matter of fact, 
Oh, fuck them white folk football team. Yeah, fuck Colorado University white alumni. Fuck they white dean of school. Fuck all them white people over there that Deion Sanders coaching for. Nigga. So, yeah, they ain't gonna let no bunch of niggas come go to school over there. They just letting them niggas Deion pick. And, and fuck, the whole, fuck the whole team. So this is just my opinion. Just my opinion, man. You all can't say that about Deion Sanders, especially how much coverage he got in the media, how much power he got right now. Then you wishing that man's son to get injured. You wishing you putting a $20,000 bounty on his head. That wasn't right, bro. And you know that wasn't right. A lot of people say, oh, he trolling. He, come on, man. This ain't it, though. Why you wanna? Why you want to see another young black man get hurt to potentially, you know, lose money of his own? Not from what his dad made, but just building his own legacy, building his own foundation, and living his best life. Why would you want to take that man away? So, a lot of people say that he trolling and stuff like that, but come on, man. That ain't it, bro. That ain't it. So, in my opinion, I think this is, if not the reason, probably one of the reasons why he's no longer on YouTube. That's just my opinion, man. So, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know if you agree or if you disagree. It's your boy, Damn D. I'm signing out, y'all. Peace.